Hey everyone, it's Becky, and today I made the little house in the big woods. So previously I made a little house on the prairie house, but today I switched it up and I used one of the empty lots, like the in the woods lot I think it's called. I thought it'd be perfect because it has a lot of the taller pine trees and I added in a lot of my own little trees as well. So we have our cute little cabin here. And then I have a few other little things, my little animal pen, a garden. So yeah, I'm really happy with how the inside of the house turned out. It looks so cute and cozy, and I even have a couple of actual animals in here. So first we will head on inside the house. So here we are inside our little house in the big woods. I've always been a big fan of Laura Ingalls' little house books um, ever since I was little. So I really enjoyed making this house. Would I actually want to live back in the 1800s? No, but I think this is really cool. But I do love this style, you know, the older stuff and making it all cute with all these little accessories. I think it looks pretty accurate to what it probably did look like. So starting over on the right side of the door when you walk in, I kind of had a little wash basin area with some other storage and stuff. A cute little braided rug down there, a broom, and then I only use the lanterns for the lights, of course. Of course, I have Pa's gun right up above the door in case he has to grab it and run out to go shoot a wild animal that's attacking his animals or something. And then right here is my little setup here to wash your face, wash your hands after being outside. Just a little console table type of thing, the wash basin with some soaps, Pa's um, little shaving kit, lantern, Pa's hat there, a little rag to wipe up with, and a mirror, and a couple of other little pictures up there. Down below I have some food storage, a bag of apples, some potatoes. These are actually like in-game potatoes that you can like sit out. Pretty cool feature. And then like a bag of flour. Over on the left we have our butter churn because we do have a cow. And then right here I have this nice tall shelf here filled with like carrots, onions, and squashes. This little area right here is our kitchen. We've got an old style type of sink over here. I guess we would pour the water up in there and it kind of drips slowly out into the sink area and then down into this bucket. We have Mary and Laura's little aprons here some herbs hanging, a little towel, quite a bit of cabinet space I put up in here. And then another little shelf here, we have lots of little canisters with our flowers and our sugars and our tea and stuff. And then on the countertop itself, I have some fresh made bread and butter, a little berry pie, some eggs, a nice stove over here for cooking and baking, and then the stove pipe here kind of is a fire hazard against the curtains, but we'll just ignore that. <laughs> I also have some little um, utensils hanging up there. And a little basket of wood to help um, with the fire inside the oven. Over here continues our main living space. We have a super cozy little table here with a checkered tablecloth on it. Table set for Ma, Pa, and the girls. We've got some mashed potatoes, some tomatoes, and then a roasted chicken here. Whenever the chickens get too old to lay eggs, <laughs> you just um, butcher it and then you enjoy it. Over here by the window, I have two more chairs that can be pulled up to the table, a nice big trunk, and then some cute little flowers that the girls picked. I like these curtains too. They usually just used um, scraps of fabric that they didn't use for dresses. And then right here, we have a nice big cabinet. We've got some more storage down there and then some nice open shelving for some of Ma's nicer um, dishes. The standard mugs and plates, some jams here, and a little basket of extra towels. Just a cute little display area. And then at the far end of the main living area we have the little fireplace section. This shelf up here has some sewing and knitting supplies, a few books, a vase, and some little decorative boxes. Right here we have a couple of samplers up on the walls. There give us this day our daily bread plate that traveled with them to all of their different travels and homes they lived in. A nice silver candlestick holder, the family Bible, and a little clock. Some firewood on that side, and then like the little fireplace tools on this side. And then this is a workshop fireplace, so I couldn't actually turn the fire on, so I put some little log candles in there to make it look like a little log fire. 
And then I just have a couple of rocking chairs for Ma and the girls and Pa to sit down and enjoy in the evenings and a nice little rug there. Right here is the girls' bedroom. They have matching little beds here and they each have a shelf up on their side and some hooks for their clothing and their bonnets. Just a couple of their school books and on both of theirs. They each have a little rag doll, a little wood carving there. And yeah, pretty cozy in here. And then over here is Ma and Pa's bedroom. They have a nice rug in there as well and a big um, wardrobe for more storage little owl picture and then Ma's little spinning wheel so yeah a pretty simple little cabin tour nothing too special in here but they live simply but had a good little life in the woods outside they just have like a barrel and a little bucket and then across the way first right here we have the well for collecting water and then continuing this way unfortunately we've got a little outhouse no indoor plumbing back in the day. Continuing this way, we lead to the little garden area. I've got a little hoe and a rake in here, and then inside we've got some potatoes, carrots, and pumpkins. I really like how I added some more trees and bushes in here to kind of help make it more woodsy. Okay, let's head back along this way. I also really enjoy in the farm DLC, we've got this yellowy grass. It kind of looks a little better for this theme. Right here we have the um, clothesline for drying clothes. And over against this side of the house we have a lot of wood stocked up. Over here is our barn for the animals. We have to keep them locked up and safe. I like how these doors open partially, so we could leave it open for them to have some more fresh air. So I divided this up into three sections. This first section over here is for the horse. This one here is for the cow and this area here is for the chickens. Nothing special in here, but it keeps the animals safe and contained. Speaking of contained, I have no idea where my chickens are. <laughs> um, they are wandering somewhere around this property. But I do have my horse and my cow in here safe in their little fence area. Got some food and water over here, and then here are my horse and cow. They seem to be chilling and having a good time together. Nice safe spot for them to graze during the day. So yeah, that is my little house in the big woods. I hope you enjoyed this tour. If any of you are or were Little House fans, let me know. It's definitely very nostalgic for me um, since I've loved it for so long. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Also, be sure to follow my Twitch. I'll link it down below. I am streaming a lot of my builds lately. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.